Hi all, this is Jan Almighty and welcome to this video. So in this video we are going to be covering rook endgames, specifically where we have a rook and a pawn against a rook. So this is a very standard uh, endgame, I've encountered it many times in my chess career, so it is pretty important to know how to play it. So in this situation what you can ex expect is that the king or the rook will be in front of the pawn and then we will see how you can actually play to win or is it actually a draw in this endgame. So this is the first position and in this position actually white is winning the game but he has to play precisely. So we will uh, use the fact that uh, this king is on d6 and try to run, run away with our king in order to push the pawn to promotion. First move is rook to b8. Now the rook is attacked and he has to move. For example, if he moves somewhere here on this side, king goes out. Now, actually, we need to give checks because otherwise white will just push the, the pawn and it will be promoted to a queen. So if we get, give a check from the side, this isn't so good because king to b6 simple and now there are no more checks. So instead of that, what you want to do, you want to give a check from behind. And now king goes to c8, rook to c1 check, and king to d8. As uh, you might have seen, uh, it doesn't make sense to play rook to a1 because then we just push the pawn and the, the rook is defending the promoting square. Now, on the other hand, what we've did, what we've done is uh, we went in behind the rook, uh, behind the king, and that way we kind of hidden behind him in order not to get checks from the first rank. And now king has to go somewhere here. And now, of course, we don't want to push the pawn to promotion because the threat is a rook to g8 checkmate. Rather, we will give a check to the black's king. Now king goes to c5 in order to attack the rook. And now rook to c6 check. If king takes on c6, we have a queen goes out with a check. And now when the king moves, this is actually a winning endgame for white. In a couple of moves, you can also maybe with a fork win the rook. But um, we, I also want, you, want to show you some other situations. For example, if king to d5, then we have simple rook to a6. And after, once again, a couple of checks, uh, king wants to hide. And then after he goes to a5, there are no more checks. And now in this situation, we will just push the pawn to promotion. Also, other move that could be played instead of d5, king goes to b5 and now rook to c8 because rook to a6 isn't available anymore. And once again, couple of checks and king is hidden and next, next move is pushing to a promotion. But let's explore uh, this situation once again, but now king is on c7, not on d6. And this is actually a drawn endgame because after a couple of checks, not couple, but just giving checks, uh, king wants to play on c c8 and c7, not allowing white king to go out of the corner. And this way, yeah, it is a drawn endgame and black is satisfied with the draw in this situation. Uh, if on the other hand, uh, rook moves on, on, on a certain rank, you can either play rook to a1, rook to b1, or you can just keep it somewhere along these lines. Doesn't really matter. As long as when white gives you check, you go c8, c7, you are fine, and this is a drawn endgame. So let's move on to the next position. In this position, once again, we are going to be exploring the fact that the king isn't on the edge of the board. So now a rook to h8 is uh, the best move in the position. You cannot take, I mean, the best move probably is to take the pawn, but in the end, a rook will give a check on h7, king has to move, and now you will pick up the rook. So um, this is uh, the one, one possible situation that can happen, and uh, the other is if king goes to g7 and att attacks the rook, then we can just push the pawn, and now the the rook is defended and also the queen is defended and after taking the queen white is a rook up and this is a winning endgame. So also some other situations that can happen where when the rook is in front of the pawn that the king is somewhere below so not on the 7th rank rather 6th, 5th uh, or somewhere below then you can just give a check somewhere on the 8th rank and in the next move push the promotion. But okay. The next situation is similar, so now king is not on f7, rather on g7, and now we don't have that idea of putting the rook on h8, nor can we put it somewhere else on the 8th rank, because in the end, 
the, the rook will just capture the pawn. So this is a drawn endgame, doesn't really matter what, uh, what uh, white plays, even if he starts to attack the rook, the rook will just stay on the A file, and even if, so you just play king g7, king h7 if you move the king, even if uh, king starts coming closer to the to the pawn, and now he defends the pawn, so the threat is actually now he can maybe move the rook out, but now you can just give checks, because yeah, uh, white cannot hide anywhere, the thing is, after a couple of checks, uh, you just stay on the A file, attacking this pawn, and you play king h7, king g7, if the rook is attacked, as I've said once again, you just move the rook, but the important thing is to keep it on the A file, and this is a drawn endgame. So, okay, let's move on. Here in this situation, actually, white is first to move, and to win is fairly simple. King is in front of the pawn, and what we want to do is put the rook on a2, so that the king can come on a7, and kind of escape, so that the pawn can be pushed to a promotion. Sorry, uh, rook goes on b1 to attack the pawn, and we have king to a7. King comes to c7, so now there is a threat of taking the pawn. We can either push the pawn to a promotion, or give a check. It works the same way, when you give a check, the king has to move somewhere, and now when you take the pawn and promote it, now maybe there are a couple of checks, but in the end, uh, white will... Uh, prevail because after this check you have queen to a7 covering the king and also checking the king and now after takes takes uh, white is left with a rook and this is a winning endgame so this is a one possible situation and the other is where the rook is already on the a file you want to keep it here as black since you don't want a rook to play on a2 and then you have that same situation here we have a, a very famous rule in these kinds of endgames, and it's called building a bridge. So let me show you. First, you want to give a check. Now, if king goes to c6, you have a simple king to c8. There are checks with the rook. If rook moves, yeah, moves somewhere here, you just have uh, promoting to a queen, and the check doesn't work because the rook can defend the king. So the other situation is uh, where king plays on e6 or e7. If he plays on e6, once again, king to c8 is a move, and after, a cup, uh, after this check, we have king to d8, and now we can attack the pawn because otherwise he will promote rook to d7. Uh, watch the pawn, king will go on c8 defended, and now we will push him. So, just show you in a couple of moves. Uh, yeah, the black king cannot come closer, and this is a winning endgame for, for white. So... I'm just showing you this, so these are possible situations that can happen, but actually the best move in this situation for black is to play to king to e7. And now I'm going to show you how to build a bridge. You put the rook on the fourth rank, so in this case rook to d4, and now with a king walk we will actually use this rook as a defending piece. A, rook, a black rook will stay on the a file because if he moves then rook to a4 is a threat, and now we have the king walk. King to c7, rook checks. Otherwise, yeah, the pawn can be promoted. Uh, king moves. Check. We don't want to go on c5 or a5 because the pawn will fall. We still defend the pawn with the king. Check on c2 and now king to b5. What are the options? So you can give a check on b2 and then we use this rook as a defending piece. That, that what, that's what it means to build a bridge. Now rook to b4 is defending. King rook moves, for example, and then we promote to a queen. Other possible situation is instead of giving a check, putting it somewhere else, but in the end all things lead to white promoting it to a queen and in the end winning the game. And for last we have uh, two simple situations where I'm going to show you when white wins the game and when it's a drawn end game. So here uh, white rook is already cutting off the king, the king is in front of the pawn and he is in a check. King to d7 only move. You have to give checks to the king in order not to allow him to promote to a queen, king to d8 and rook to b8. Now we play king to c7 and if uh, rook plays here then we have just simple king to d7, rook has to move somewhere and the pawn will be pushed to a promotion. So probably a better move here is to play rook to a8 and now it seems that white doesn't really have a move but the best move to play is a rook to a1 because now this rook is attacked and you can either move it somewhere here, but now after king to d7, king to f7, uh, rook to f1, 
king has to move you go to a promotion and uh, the other thing is that you can do probably is to capture the capture the, the rook here but now as i said uh, white brings out the queen and this is a winning end game so okay this is the first situation and in the second situation uh previously the rook was on b8 now he is on a8 and now white doesn't have that option so king to d7 after this couple of checks so king to c7 now again check and now you cannot go to c8 because you will drop a pawn and if you go and defend for example here then black just keeps on giving checks if white starts to get closer for example over the fifth rank you have a simple rook to e6 attacking the pawn this pawn cannot be defended and in the end black will capture it and draw this end game so yeah this is pretty much it for this end game and this video uh, i'm going to be covering some more videos on this topic so rook end games with more pawns and also when a pawn is not on the seventh rank and also if you're interested stay tuned for that as well so that being said i would like to thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time